So welcome back to this channel, Svenska Med Subhadra. In today's uh, video, we will learn about Personalika Pranomen, which means personal pronouns. These are very simple words that are used to call somebody or represent or replace a person's name with another word. For example, in English, we say he, she, it, I, you, yeah, all these are pronouns. So similar words in Swedish, we are going to learn. Ja means I. We write it like J-A-G, but we call it as Ja. Just Ja. Okay, G is not pronounced so much. It is not stressed so much. Ja. Ja means I. Du. Du means you. This is very easy. Du. You. So this is second person singular. Okay, if I am talking to you, then I address you or call you as Du. Yeah. And next is third person singular. Han and Hoon, he and she. Okay, when I talk to you and I'm talking about somebody else, then they are called third person. And if it is a male, then we say it as Han. If it's a female, then we say Hoon. It is not Han or Hoon. Okay, many Indians have this pronunciation problem. They read it as Han or Hoon or different <laughs> ways of reading it, but this is the correct pronunciation. Han, Hoon, right? Han for he and hoon for she. And the next one is plural. We. Yeah, this is first person plural. We all are doing or talking together. We all are talking together. Then we say we. Okay, we pratar. So, we pratar till samans. <laughs> Meaning we talk together. We are talking together. So, we, I is a spelling. But we read it as same just as in English. We. Next. Ni. Ni is second person plural. Okay. So if I am talking to many of you, then I should address you as ni, not du. If I am talking to one person, then I call you du. If I am talking to many, then I should address you as ni. Right? Good. Whereas in English, everything is you only. <laughs> Singular or plural, doesn't we don't differentiate. We call you. Just you. And the last one is dom. And the next one is dom. We write it like de. You can read it as dom or de. Okay, you can read it either way. Both are correct. Some people read, uh, say it as dom. Some say it as de. Both are correct. And the meaning is de. Okay, third person plural. T H E Y de in English. Here we write it as de. That's it. And the last one is man, <laughs> meaning one, just one person. Okay, for example, um, when you talk in generic. Man for inte kastas no bollar, meaning one should not throw, one is not allowed to throw snowballs, okay, or uh, fight, snowball fighting, kids do it at school generally, so uh, something like that, one should not do this, so when you want to say one, instead of saying you, you can also say man, man for inte kasta no bollar, okay, yeah, so man can also be used to address someone in general. That's it for today. Thank you. We see you soon. And if you are interested to learn Swedish with me, please go and register for my upcoming webinar at subhadra.co/webinar. Okay. And the next webinar is coming up in two more days. And you would also get a free demo session if you are attended. Hope you will be interested. And please do register in this link subhadra.co/webinar. Thanks, Amike.